During last week's market report, I mentioned that we might end up with a throwaway week when it came to the week of the 4th. Buyer activity was certainly way down in the Portland metro area. No surprise there. But what was a surprise was the big drop in the average sale price, something that can't be explained away by the holiday. So let's get into the numbers and see if we can make sense of what happened. The average sale price came in 8% lower than the previous week and 6.2% lower than the same time last year. When you check out this chart, you can really see how dramatic the drop was. We went from the highest average sale price so far this year to numbers that we were seeing three months ago. I did look back about four weeks in my notes, which is when these deals went under contract, to see if I could figure out what happened. We did have an unusually high number of new listings coupled with an unusually low number of new pending deals. And in addition to that, interest rates were on the rise. That might help explain a little bit what happened, but I'm not convinced. But do keep in mind that we're dealing with a relatively small sample of numbers, which can lead to some pretty dramatic swings from week to week. And I think we need to see a couple more weeks of numbers before we decide whether or not this is a trend. The number of new pending deals was down. Not a big surprise there. Traffic was incredibly light in the city for the week of the 4th. I think that buyers and agents were on vacation, and when agents go on vacation, homes don't get shown and offers don't get written. The number of lockbox opens, another major buyer activity, was up 16% versus the same time period last year. That's an interesting contrast. Looking at our year-over-year -year numbers, we have 16% more lockbox opens, but 20% fewer accepted offers. I think that tells us that buyers are interested and out and about with their agents looking at homes, but they're not as willing to write offers given our current interest rate environment. The inventory or supply of homes available for buyers to purchase continues to inch up this year, which is typical for this time of year, but compared to last year, we ended up with 4.9% fewer homes on the market. And that's coming off the previous week's 1.5% deficit, continuing the trend of tightening supply that we've been seeing for several months now. So looking forward, we received some relatively positive inflation numbers this week, and almost immediately we saw an improvement in interest rates and the yield on the 10-year treasury, which is one of our best indicators of where residential interest rates are headed. Obviously, if this trend continues, it might invigorate our typically sleepy months of July and August, giving us something to talk about I'm very excited to see what happens and to share this with you as the information comes. Thanks as always for watching this video to the very end. Please like and follow if you haven't already and I'd love it if you would share this video with someone who might appreciate the insight. And I'll catch you next week.